Hi, algebra students, Ms. O'Donnell here. We are looking at challenge B, or challenge C, excuse me, of the Algebra 1 escape room. So it looks like our directions are to write the equation of a line in slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. They've given it to us here. It says, um, using the information on the puzzle piece, place pieces D, G, A, and E along the bottom row. So let's see here. It tells us to put D, let's see here, E comes over here, G, and A. So I don't even have to necessarily find the answers to those puzzles. I can go ahead and place them in their spots. Okay, but I'm going to need the answers to each of those puzzle pieces to figure out what's going to go in that next row. All right, so let's see here. If I take a look at D, and remember, you can always click and, and expand, um, right? If you grab your mouse, you can click and temporarily expand the puzzle piece, right, to be able to see your information a little bit more easily. So for old eyes like mine, I need to do that. Um, so it passes through the point negative 3, 6 and has a slope of negative 2. All right. Let's see here. I'm going to go back to the original sa size. So it passes through the point of negative 3, 6 and a slope of negative 2. So I know that I have y equals negative 2x plus b, right, because I know my slope is negative 2. And since they gave me a point that's on the line, negative 3, 6, I know an x-coordinate and y-coordinate. So I can go ahead and plug those in. So 6 is equal to negative 2 times negative 3 plus b. And now I only have one letter that I don't know, one unknown value. value. So I can solve to find what b is, right? So I'm going to Simplify a little bit. Negative 2 times 3 is positive 6. Um, I'm going to start solving. So doing the opposite or my inverse. 6 minus 6 is 0. 6 minus 6 is 0. And hey, 0 plus b is just b. So I can come over to my puzzle piece where it says type here. And I'm going to, I did control all to highlight all the words type here where you could, you know, drag. And I'm going to type in y equals negative 2x plus 0, right? Because that's the equation for that line. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do g as well. Let's see here, let's do it in blue. Why not? And it says, oh, now for g, it's giving me two points. So it's passing through the point negative 6, uh, 13. And the other point is 3, 1. All right, so I have to find the slope between those two points. Um, so you could plug it into slope formula, but I know slope, slope formula is subtracting, right? So 13 minus 1 is 12. Negative 6 minus 3 is negative 9. So let's see here. My slope is going to be 12 over negative 9, which those both divide by 3, right? So that simplifies to, let's see here, negative 4 over 3. All right, so I've got the first part. So I have y equals negative 4 thirds x plus b. Now I have to figure out what is my y-intercept. And I can do that by grabbing either one of the points that they gave me and plugging into my equation. So I'm going to do 3 and 1 because it looks like a little easier numbers, uh, but negative 6 and 13 would work too. So 1 equals negative 4 thirds times 3 plus b. And I really like when I have that negative 4 thirds times 3 because when you multiply and divide by 3, they undo each other, right? So 3 divided by 3 is 1. I'm left with just negative 4 plus b. I, can, I need to get rid of that 4 to figure out what my b is. So I'm going to add 4 to both sides of my equal sign. So I have 5 is equal to 0 plus b. Uh, 5 is equal to b. All right, let's see here. Um, 5 is equal to b. So I have y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 5. I can grab my little pointer tool here. Uh, so y is equal to negative 4 thirds x times x plus 5, and it says use the y-intercept.